Hey, welcome back to another episode of Mr. Um Rocks. Right now, we're going to model a bed. And to do this, I'm going to tab out of uh, object mode into um, edit mode. I'm going to deselect everything, actually select everything, hit W, subdivide this, and bump the number of cuts up to three. Important thing is I want to have a line right down the middle. And if I do this, that's looking pretty good. Uh, I'll go ahead and change this now so that I, uh, making a transparent notice, I can see through it right now. If I click this, I can't see through it. I can. I want to transport uh, parent so that when I box select this side and hit X, I delete the vertices. Incidentally, if I go to uh, my user preferences and I go to add-ons and I choose, uh, what is it, screen? screencast and click that on that will give me the option of starting a screencast and so down here you'll be able to see what buttons I'm pressing. I'm going to go ahead and add a modifier at this point and I'm going to add a mirror modifier making sure to check clipping and I'm going to hit this button which is the applying the modifier and editing, editing cage. So now I can see the cage around all sides. I'm going to create a bed shape, and so to do this, I will select all of it. I will scale it on the Z axis, and then I will scale it on the Y axis. Can I get a general uh, dimensions of a bed? And I'll say fine. Now in object mode, I'm going to hit uh, Shift uh, D to duplicate, and I'll move this along the Y axis. I will scale it on the Z and then scale it again on the Y and I'm going to make a headboard. Scale it a little bit on the X so it's out a bit. Maybe scale it back down on the Z axis and so forth. It does not need to be this wide so scaling it down and I'm going to make this into a simple headboard for a bed. Now to do this I will simply remem remember that this is in it's got a mirror modifier attached and I am going to put a loop cut here and I'm going to put a loop cut here because I want to change the shape of this a bit. If I come down here and select proportional editing which is the blue ball I can begin to change the shape of this little bit. I think I'll choose my uh, box selector and just bring this straight down. Uh, maybe I'll select some more of these guys uh, and bring them straight down again and I'll get something that maybe even I can rotate that a little bit on the Y and I'll get something that begins to look maybe like a headboard okay fair enough uh, also uh, this bed I think should be lowered a little bit so I will grab that on the Z axis move him down I'm going to add uh, to this part feet so let's do that right now if I come back over here I'll turn off my invisibility, turn on my um, face select, and I will select these faces. And I'm just going to extrude these down a little bit. Uh, now, actually I had something selected up on top, so I have to do that over. I think the other thing I'll do while I'm at it is I will select uh, this whole thing and come over to modifiers. Let's put in a subdivision surface just to make it look a little bit more interesting. And notice it rounds the corners. And so what I can do at this point is add a loop cut here. I'll add another loop cut over here and just kind of push these corners out to the edge so they're not quite so rounded. And so in any case, now I'll come down to the bottom and I can change this as well. Uh, bring that right down to the edge and I am going to make this into a leg. So I'll grab these guys here, 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 and here. And I'm simply going to extrude that on the z-axis. And uh, let's say right there. Now it's not a very good shape, but so I'll change that by putting another loop cut in here and just dragging that down. Maybe do the same thing over here and dragging that up and so that's beginning to give me something that begins to look like uh, the shape that I want. I'll turn the proportional editing off and hit scale, scale that in a bit 
and I'll go ahead and leave that like that. Now, uh, this guy I think I want to bring down a little bit, so it's kind of even with that. And so that's my headboard for my bed. Easy to do. Shift D duplicates this, moving on the Y axis. I'm going to take this whole guy and have the other sort of footboard for my bed. And uh, to do this, I will scale it. Whoops. I will scale it on the Z axis and drop it down. And so it should be very similar in shape. And yet, it will be smaller. So that's my bed. I should also scale this maybe just a bit on the X. And so there's my bed. OK. Uh, I think at this point I can add a couple of things. Notice I'm in Cycles Render. Uh, I am going to, in Object Mode, say Shift A and I'm going to add a plane. Scale this by 9 and uh, that's ready to go. I'll say Shift A and I'll add another plane. This plane I'll scale by, let's say, 2. I'll grab him and I need some light in my scene. So I'll grab this. I will rotate him and I will add some materials to each of these. So let's save this. I will save this as, I think I have a materials guy in here, so I'll call this uh, bed demo. And this demo is saved. If I want to now, I can get rid of this light. Notice that I am in cycles. And so if I come back over, select my bed, I can choose materials. Uh, let's choose the materials for this first. Uh, this is going to be this plane hanging up ahead is my um, going to be my light source. So I simply choose uh, surface, and I'm going to change it from diffuse to emission. And if I were to look at it right now in this sort of render mode, I'm going to get some light, but not very much. Also, I notice that my plane is uh, if I grab that on the Z, that moves up a little bit better. And I need to bump up the light. So if I select that, I can change this to, let's try 5. Better. Let's try 10. If I'll go ahead and leave it there. It looks a little bright. Maybe I can go ahead and grab that on the z-axis and move that up. Grab it over here. And so I have maybe a slightly better shape for what I'm looking for. I can also, if I want another light, just simply grab this and say Shift-D and rotate this guy all around. If I want to change this uh, lighting of any one of these, it will change the lighting of both. And the way that I can get around that is if I change this to from data to object, now this no longer is a light, but I can go ahead and make it one, and it will be independent from the other light. So emission, ooh, I had the wrong thing selected. Let's redo that. I'm going to say new uh, emission. And uh, now I've got a secondary light. Let's go ahead and bump this up to six. And so now I've got two lights on my bed. Let's add some materials. First of all, let's change the background. If I choose the global or world view, I can change this to some other color. Let's change it to uh, some sort of darkish green, anything other than the generic gray. And now I'm going to add something to the floor here. I'll say File. I'm going to go back to Append. And I'm going to add a material. I've already come into this file once, so it automatically goes back there. But I downloaded a materials uh, file from BlendSwap. And if I come in here and go into the materials folder, I have a lot of different materials to choose from. Let's try Car Paint Flakes Green. I'm going to select the floor by clicking on it. And now as I come back to this, if I select this, notice the material is just the generic gray. But if I come down here, Car Paint Flakes Green has been added into my list, and if I select that, now the floor becomes that car paint color. I'm getting this uh, really strong reflection here, and a way that I can get rid of that is if I select this and go to Object, I can come down to Ray Visibility, and I can unclick Glossy. Same thing over here, I can uh, select this light, come back down here, unselect Glossy. And so now I get uh, light without those really strong uh, glares in the bottom. Let's add the rest of this. If I take this guy, uh, I'll go back to File, Append. I'm in Object Mode to get into Append. And I'll choose, let's, uh, let's try some kind of wood. And I'll try that for this headboard. I come back into Materials again, choose the same guy, choose wood. 
and now that guy has a wooden surface. And notice that the uh, wood surface, though, uh, has, um, let's see if I can find a vector. Hmm, boy, this is a pretty complicated one. Don't think I'm going to find it real easily. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just leave it like that. Grab the same guy down here. Come into uh, the same materials. Uh, grab this and say wood again. And so now I have wood on both the front and the back. Okay. So now that's pretty good. Let's do one more. Uh, let's do one more guy here for the bed. Uh, now this bed is actually pretty simple. If I come back into uh, solid mode, select the bed, uh, go into tab into edit mode. Uh, I might want to subdivide this, uh, subdivide, uh, bump that up a little bit, and now I'll come back over to uh, my property or my um, my toolbar. Go to modifiers, add a modifier, and I'm going to add subdivision surface. And that did not do a whole lot, uh, but I can make that look a little bit more like a mattress. Uh, moving this guy in over here, moving this guy in over here. Let's choose some kind of um, material that makes this look a little bit more like a mattress. If I go to File, Append now, and choose something synthetic rubber, perhaps, orange plastic. Uh, let's say, hmm, I thought they had some textile, yeah, they have some textile uh, material, edged velvet. Oh, let's see, I don't even know what this is going to look like, but if I come back and now do the same thing, try my edged velvet, okay, maybe that works. Uh, since this is an object mode, I can see all these planes simply by hitting smooth, that undoes it. And now, if I come back into my rendered view, I get this. Now it looks like things have gotten a lot darker. Uh, I think what I could do is bump this up from 6. Let's try 12. Let's try uh, 12 over here. Let's try 25. And so it's just uh, pretty light colored. The other thing I can do is I can come back here and bump the light up here quite a bit. And now the whole thing looks very strange. In any case, that's it for today. Bye-bye.